When asked this question, Michael Jordan provided the response, it's maddening because I felt like we could have won seven. I really believe that. We may not have, but man, just not to be able to try, that's something that, you know, I just can't accept. For whatever reason, I just can't accept it. Now, if you don't know why Jordan and the Bulls were in this position following their sixth championship, I suggest you watch The Last Dance. In the quickest summary possible, Bulls GM Jerry Krause told Phil Jackson at the beginning of the 97-98 season that even if he went 82-0, he would not return to coach the Bulls the next season. Now, this led to the infamous Last Dance, the final season that the Bulls' core unit would play together. But what if they could have worked out their differences and returned to defend their championship status one more time? This is Topic Tackle. Let's go. What's good people, JC3 here, and today I'm analyzing if the Bulls could have won their seventh ring in the shortened 98-99 NBA season by the best way I know how, 2K simulation. First, here's why this is a legitimate what-if scenario. The 98-99 season was only 50 games due to a lockout, and play didn't start until February 5th, 1999. That's an entire three months from when the season would typically start, which means an additional three months of rest for an aging Bulls team. While Jordan wasn't at his peak athletically, he was still dominant due to how he was able to use his mind as well as his body. He would have come back in great shape and ready to compete for a seventh ring in 1999. Despite a back injury in the 1998 finals, Scottie Pippen played all 50 games in 1999 for the Houston Rockets, so there's no reason why he wouldn't do the same for the Bulls. And despite what Krause said, Bulls owner Jerry Reinsdorf offered Phil Jackson the opportunity to coach the rebuilding Bulls in 1999, to which he declined. If the championship core was intact, Phil most likely would have returned to coach them. Contractually, Jordan said in the last dance that he would have returned on a one-year deal and believes that his teammates would have done the same, albeit at Pippen with more negotiation because of previous contract disputes. Reinsdorf wanted to move on from players because of their market value being too high, but if the championship core wanted to try for a seventh ring to end the millennium, he would have paid up. Here's what the playoff seeding looked like in 1999, and no, you're not tripping when you're looking at that finals matchup. The 27-23 and 8th seeded New York Knicks became the only 8th seed in history to make the NBA Finals. They were without a 36-year-old Patrick Ewing who suffered an injury in pregame warmups of Game 2 of the Eastern Conference Finals, and they still managed to make the finals and win a game against the best team in the NBA, the San Antonio Spurs. So without further ado, let's jump right into this 2K simulation. We gave Jordan the Jordan 15s because that's what he would have been wearing in 1999, a one-year contract. All the details are there, people. And as far as these ratings go, I downloaded a roster off of 2K Share from 98-99, a created roster, and I gave the Bulls all their ratings from 97-98. After a full simulated season with the Spurs getting the better record, that's what their ratings ended up being. Michael Jordan getting the dunk at the beginning of game one. Simulating now, live in game, just before halftime, Jaron Jackson, three-pointer, green light. Tim Duncan on the assist. And the Spurs and Bulls, game one, going back and forth here. This is a tightly contested contest. And so we're getting into the fourth quarter now. The Bulls in the lead. Michael Jordan punches it home, plus the foul. Game one goes to Chicago. They take the road win and a 1-0 series lead, 102-93. Tim Duncan, 20 points on 9 for 19. David Robinson following behind him. Jordan, 25 points in this game on 12 for 17 from the field. Now, I turned off injuries during the season, but in the finals, there are injuries on. Luke Longley suffering the injury there, and he's going to be out for game two. His backup is Bill Cartwright. And yeah, well, you see what happens there. Uh, not really filling the void the way they want him to. Tim Duncan with the fadeaway. We're late fourth quarter. The Spurs are in control 84 to 77 with 38 ticks remaining on the clock. Now, Brown is in the game. I'm not really sure what the Bulls coach, which would be Phil Jackson. I'm not sure what he's doing with the substitutions here, but I let the CPU make the subs. What am I going to do? 84-79. Spurs ahead after Jordan gets a layup. Now, the Bulls are going to start intentionally fouling. I figured let's just sim to the end of this game should be over but no 2k pulls chris move likes to call it the cheese all right that's a throwback right there so rodman missed the layup jordan got the rebound he makes the layup and now it's 84 81 robinson for some reason shoots a layup with 14 seconds to go instead of taking a foul i don't know why all right don't ask me i'm just the one doing the simulation pippen makes a layup and one 84 83 he's gonna make his free throw now it's 84 84 and of course, a missed shot at the end of play. We're in overtime. Simming now in overtime, the Bulls up by two. 91-89, inside, Tim Duncan working, low post. Good, on the hook shot. He's on fire, 91 up. Spurs, chance to close this one out. 
after a ferocious Bulls comeback. Avery Johnson inside against Coop Coach, unable to connect on the layup. Ahead to Pippen. He's looking to be clutching this one. Lob up Jordan, and he finishes. A spectacular layup by Michael Jordan, 93-91. Spurs push that one down the court. No good as they have to launch the heave. Johnson misses that one. The Bulls escape with a game two victory. David Robinson had 29, Duncan with 23. Comes up short. Michael Jordan, 35 on 16 for 28 from the floor. Back home in Chicago for game three, and it's a blowout, 105-78. Jordan with another 35, a very efficient 12 for 17 from the field. Robinson only has 14. Now the Bulls have a chance to sweep this one and go for their seventh ring. Jordan inside, slam down, 88-86, 121 remaining in this game. But Avery Johnson to Robinson, one-handed hammer, 90-86. Jordan, the pull-up, patented, free throw line pull-up just above it. Unable to connect on that one, 93-89. The Spurs take this one and the four-point win. Down 3-1 in this series now. And so they're heading back to San Antonio to try to extend the series. No team has ever come back from 3-0. Granted, that was the case in 99. That's still the case in 2020. 96-91, Ron Harper now at the end of this game five. Misses Pippen. Rebound, taps it in, 96-93 inside Johnson. He's unable to hit, rebound by Steve Kerr. I don't know why Steve Kerr is in the game right now, not Ron Harper. Not sure what 2K is doing. Pippen, pull-up jumper. He's the one coming up clutching this one, 96-95 San Antonio after two free throws. 98-95, Jordan has the mismatch, goes behind the back on Duncan. Floater in the lane over Robinson, puts it in. 98-97, now 197 after two free throws. Kerr coming down. Jordan to Kerr to tie it for overtime unable to hit that ball's batted around in the spurs have taken two games in a row over the chicago bulls 197 sean elliott tim duncan gonna lead the scores for san antonio jordan 26 in this game chicago illinois the location for the spurs for chicago they couldn't get it done in game five but a trip back home could be just what the doctor ordered spurs bulls the NBA Finals continue. All right, people, this is closeout winning time for the Bulls. We're going to send them all the way into the fourth quarter. And Chicago with a seven-point lead. Now an eight-point lead. Harper inside Jordan, left-handed slam. Ten-point lead, 85-75, and that is going to do it. The Bulls close out the Spurs, winning this game. Jordan Finals MVP. And so a couple of things that I noticed over this series, it was a bit odd, some of the coaching changes uh, that were made, such as Ron Harper not being in there. They put in Randy Brown, they put in Steve Kerr. The Bulls win in six, Michael Jordan gets finals MVP. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. Would Jordan and the Bulls have won their seventh ring in 1999 if the championship core decided to come back? Remember, subscribe, like, leave your feedback, comments down below. We'll be back with more Topic Tackle coming soon. Stay solid, people.